Hey everyone, Maury Curtis Dunbar here with Painted Studio. Welcome back. It's a little chilly in my studio today. My hands are a little cold, but I'm awfully glad to see you all here. Give me just a second to pop myself up on my iPad so that I can make sure I can see everybody if they have questions and stuff. We are going to do something very fun, very holiday today. We're going to work on some nutcrackers. Now, I started these yesterday during my video session for shorts and reels and stuff like that, but we still have a lot of detail work to go on them, and I thought I'd share them with you because then you get to see some of our new fun foils. So I'm very excited to be going in on that. And if you watch our TikToks and our reels on Instagram and that sort of thing, you'll see reels coming up for our Christmas tree and for our little snowflake. They're both super cute and very easy to do. Uh, found these at Target. So definitely jump on. I think I have a snowman here too, but I'm not quite done with my snowman yet. I haven't decided where I'm going with him still. I have a little more work to do on that. Anyway, let's jump into our nutcrackers. Now, my family tradition is my mother used to give um, all of the grandchildren nutcrackers every year for Christmas. And as my mother's not with us any longer, I take on the tradition for her uh, to make sure my niece and nephew and my son and everybody gets their nutcracker. Now my son said last year he'd had enough. He's 26, he has a small nutcracker army from all over the world and I understand that because yes, it takes up boxes and boxes in our in our storage area. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that, but I still have my niece and nephew to do. So this year I thought I would paint them nutcrackers, do something special, and that's what we're going to do. So let me flip the camera down a little bit. Now you're gonna be looking at my desk and seeing the bottom of these nutcrackers and nothing else. So this is the snowman one. Um, I have not decided who is getting which nutcracker at this point. Um, and each of these nutcrackers come with two little dice that you set up here and it you know, tells you how many days until Christmas. I haven't completed the box. The only thing we've done here is paint this one with a uh, matte metallic snow set coat. And then we released our Elsa snowflake foil over that. I did miss a couple spots when working yesterday, so I thought I'd do them here with you, and then we can go on to other things with this nutcrackers. So this is our Elsa snowflake pattern. Brand new, just got it in. Okay, and of course, now I can't get the tape off the roll to open it. Jeez Louise. Some days I have better luck than others. Today is my, my fingers just don't want to unwrap anything. Untape, unwrap, undo. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of this foil. We don't need a whole lot because there's not much that I missed. But, you know, sometimes, especially with something that's a little pearly and white, it's really easy to miss uh, applying your foil adhesive. And I forgot an entire part of the arm, so I'm gonna flip this so you can see it. I did not foil on this whole arm section. Let me see if I can move my things back a little bit so you can see what's going on better. There we go. So over here, I had not put any foil adhesive. So right now we're going to go slide this foil in as much as we can. There we go. Get her in there, get it laid down. We're gonna take a little scrub brush. One of my customers sent me this. It is actually a denture brush because it's stiffer than a regular stiff toothbrush. Now, I will tell you that the Elsa foil takes a little bit of working with just to get it to start. It's not like most of our other foils where you just lay it down, give it a rub and it peels off. Elsa is kind of a funky foil. So you kind of have to work on getting it start. And then it kind of comes off in a sheet. And sometimes you get a little extra. There we go. 
so it did come off. You can see we've got the arm all snowflaked. Um, and I missed a couple other spots, so I have to go up. Now this is going to be very hard for you to see because it's hard for me to see. So i got to go up in here under the arm. I missed part of the body right here. Let's give it a little scrub. Okay, now i got to work to get this started. It's just a little bit tighter release, so sometimes you need to get a fingernail going just to get it. There we go. Got that side. I have to get up under here. Let's see if I can... That's not going to want to slide the way I want it to. So we're going to just do it this way. And then we have a little bit around the bottom. Now. I, I will freely admit I didn't do a great job putting my base color on here so I didn't get into all the places I wanted to so we're going to deal with that with flocking and that sort of thing later um, so we're going to build up a snowy base on here oh come on I didn't scratch you hard enough Ugh, it's being stubborn also, like I said, it's a little chilly in here, so it can be stubborn. There we go. We got that. And I'm going to try to come up in here because there's a little part up here that I missed, too. And I'm going to go at it with my fingernail because the fingernail seems, especially in small places, the best way to start. And by the way, when we send this to you, we actually um, mark which side is the side to go down. So we put tape on the opposite side so you don't have to guess. Because um, I actually do not remember which side is which on this. And if I flipped it over and didn't pay attention, I'm fighting the adhesive with nothing that's going to release. There we go. All right, now I have a little more to release right down here. Let's get let's see if I can get a nice big snowflake right there. This one is one of those uh, very rare foils that looks exactly the same on both sides. So when we send it to you, we will make sure that, the t that we put pieces of tape to mark the side that does not go to the adhesive to make it easier for you to use it. Um, cause I, I do it all the time. I, I struggled with this. I did a whole piece yesterday and then I couldn't figure out why it wasn't releasing. It's cause I was using the wrong side of the foil cause I'm that smart. Let me see if there's any place else that I've missed that I can feel any adhesive. Nope. I think, I think I got it all. Okay, so this is <clears throat> how cute our Elsa Snowflake foil is. Now, on camera, it will show far more is iridescence. You're going to see far more rainbowy pictures, especially in the picture on our website. It's going to look way more rainbow than it actually does in person. Most of the time, it just looks silver with a hint of iridescence to it. Now we're going to work on our Soldier Nutcracker. Now, as you can see, I painted him with set coat black, and then we released red shatter foil. Um, again, I missed a bunch of this yesterday, so it's not as nice as I would like it to be. So we're going to take a little more red shatter foil. And this one you can easily tell which is the side goes down to the adhesive. We have a very clear not so pretty side. You want the pretty side up. So I'm going to take this and go around the collar and catch some of the spots that I missed yesterday. Fill it all in because, yeah, I didn't do a really perfect job yesterday, that's for sure. I missed a bunch of stuff. So I'm just taking the red and wrapping it around 
trying not to get it stuck to the legs, which also have foil adhesive on there, but we're going to use a different color on there in a little bit. And this one is such a super easy release foil. Really, really, really nice to work with. Very little difficulty in getting it to do what you need it to do. Okay, let's come up here. Honestly, I can't even remember where I put the fresh foil adhesive. It's been one of those days, folks. I'm lucky I remembered my head. If it weren't screwed on, I probably wouldn't remember. Okay, so let's get it here, touching up all that. And of course, the best way for me to figure out what needs touching up, where I put the foil adhesive, is to give it a little touch here and there to see what's sticky still. Okay, and I think we need just a little bit right there. And let's check this one to make sure, because I know I put some on a bunch of spots and I don't want to miss any of them because I was being sloppy. I was sloppy yesterday. I'm trying not to repeat it today. Yep, we're good. So now the next thing I have to do is foil the legs. And for that, we're going to use Hunter Green. This is a beautiful foil. I love this color, very rich, very perfect for the season. Nutcrackers tend to be traditionally soldiers, but you know, now the way people do them, they're all kinds of things. So I can do soldiers, we can do snowmen, we can do all kinds of creatures. Uh, I saw one, and I, uh, I saw one that was, um, the Rat King from the Nutcracker Suite Ballet. Um, so there's lots and lots of colors and style options, but I'm going a little bit on the traditional side today. So we're gonna take this Hunter Green and we're gonna give it a scrub on the legs. I'm gonna work in that crease there with my fingernails. Now I may need to come back in and touch it up. I'm sorry, I'm flipping this around a lot, I know, because I have to. Hey Mary and Debbie and Bridget, thanks for coming in today, I appreciate it. And look how pretty that hunter foil is on that leg. So here it is in black, here it is with the hunter, still rich and dark, but very, very pretty. And again, super easy release. You can saw I didn't take much to get that to release at all. So let's get this guy's other leg. Let's see if I can slide it in here. It may not slide. I may have to... Oh, well, that one slid today. Yay. It's one of those days not everything went really the way it was supposed to. So having the little triumphs works for me. on quite late compared to when I'm normally on today because it again it was just that kind of day it was super busy here but I didn't want to forget and miss you all I didn't want it to go without spending the some time with you today let's get this one out here we go coming off things are a little stuck together that's nothing new with foils Oh, that looks terrific. Look how great that looks. I'm loving this hunter green color. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so we foiled the jacket. We foiled the legs. I'm thinking we might actually use... Ooh, I missed a spot on the back. 
we might use some of the new baby's breath foil on the legs. I think that would be really, really pretty and very interesting looking. So we're going to apply a little foil adhesive now that I've got all of the Hunter applied. So let's get another brush. Where are all my brushes? I put them all over the place and then I can never find them. This is my whole life, everybody. Where did I put something? Here's my brush. And then we'll, we'll work on painting the face and stuff on the other one. And that'll give this time to set up. Now, hopefully, um, we'll set it up. It'll be working today. I'll be able to get it on and you'll be able to see it for this live. Um, that's my goal. <laughs> that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, as we all know. And I like to do all of my foiling, uh, if I can, before I do any of my detail painting, because I can correct, if I over foil on something, if I spread it where I don't want to, um, if I happen to like hit a little foil on the top of the shoe or something, uh, I can clean it up easier after I've finished all the foiling with paint than the other way around. It just takes more work so um, I try to do things in a way that makes sense doesn't mean I always succeed but it means I try okay so we got the back of the legs let's get the front oh I love this stuff this is it makes such a such a great look on here. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, if you watch any of our other videos, our TikToks and Reels, you'll see all kinds of stuff what we've been doing with foils lately. I'm telling you, jump on the new foils. They are fantastic. And the baby's breath and the Elsa are just in time for Christmas. Our red shatter is absolutely gorgeous. The hunter green is perfect for Christmas. I'm very, very happy with our holiday color selection right now. I think we're doing some great stuff this year. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to have a little, I have a little sip of iced tea. I also might change my framing here because I think I'm a little zoomed in more than I want to be. Here we go. Okay, sometimes if I don't change the framing from the day before, it comes in really, really close up. All right, so we're going to work on the face and the hat and everything, and I think we're going to use our Roberson's colors because why not? Where did I put them? I just moved them over here next to me. So I think we're going to do, we're going to, do the hat in two colors. Of course, if I can't get it open, I might change my mind. <laughs> okay, I've got to whack the jar. So if you don't like sharp sounds, close your ears now. There we go. I'm making the neighbor's dogs bark again. They love me when I do this. Okay, so here we go. Let me grab a little brush. I got very organized, tidied up all my brushes to the point where I can't find them today. You know, I go back and forth between being super messy and super tidy, and the tidy stuff always screws me up. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's a brush that'll work. Okay, this is our Roberson's uh, Red Luster. I thought I grabbed the pomegranate, but I grabbed the red luster. That's not what I wanted. I wanted that red pearl, that scarlet pearl. Boy, I grabbed the wrong color. Give me a second. I'll find the right one. Pomegranate. There we go. I didn't even have to beat that one up. 
Red Luster is not a color we're carrying at the moment, so I didn't want to put it out today. I want to do it with another color that we already have. Now, let me get in here and give this a little stir. Like most metallic paints, this will separate if it sits for a while and you haven't used it. Nothing wrong with it, just all the all the stuff floats and settles. So let's come over here and we're going to paint the hat red. And as you can see, you can use this right over raw wood. It may pop the grain a little, so you might want to sand it and put a second coat on. But this is beautiful on here. Super nice. I really like that. Oh, this is going on so pretty. Because why, why use a plain paint when it's Christmas and this is the time where everything sparkles and shines? So I might as well use a beautiful metallic on here. And this is our pomegranate Roberson's liquid metal. And this is just, the coverage on it is gorgeous. It lays out beautifully. The, the metal in it is so pretty. Get more of the tip here and get into that crevice. Get up around the pom pom carefully. Try not to make it a red pom pom. And that's not what I want. Okay, so that's done. Put this aside. And I think for here, we're going to use Twinkle. Now I've got to find it because, again, put all my jars away. Ah, let me lift this up. So I keep all my Robersons in a, in a separate jar or a separate box like this. And if I put it down out of my direct light, I can't see any of the colors. And I think maybe we should use, uh, let's see, some royal gold on here too. But let's get our pom pom in twinkle done first. So I'm going to take a little tiny brush, just a little tiny brush like this, and we're going to go right over this. Now, the cool thing with twinkle is it goes on whitish but the reflection in it and i don't i can see it in the camera but i don't know if you guys can the twinkle is actually really really golden in here and it's very sparkly and it gets brighter as it dries so let me see if you guys can see that i'm not sure if it's coming in try to get it in so you can see, yeah, it doesn't really show, it's not really picking up on camera right now, but I can tell you right now, as it dries, it will get even sparklier. So maybe you'll be able, by the time it, it's a little drier, you'll be able to see it better. Okay, let's come in with, this is royal gold. And we're gonna do the band of the hat. Let's wash that twinkle out of that brush. And come in with the royal gold. Okay. That might be a 
little too small. Put something just a tad bigger, but not too much. All right, let me go find something here. Here we go. And these have a, this a nice stiff bristle, which will help me too. I might need a little water in this. Sometimes if I don't close my lids properly, things can get a little dry. And that is absolutely a me problem. This is not a problem with the paint. It's because I don't always get my lids on properly. Spritz of water in here. There we go. That looks like a lot of water, but it was actually very little. It's one of these mister sprayers. I got mine with um, some hair products, but you can get them on Amazon. I think they even have these misting sprayers in the drugstore now. They're also great for when you're applying foil adhesive if you need a little moisture. You just missed it and it works beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going up under the hat to get to the edge of the head. If that's not clear from the video. But I don't want to leave the underside unpainted. I don't like that unfinished look. To me, it just means I forgot to do something. Okay, now let's go over the top edge here. I'm sorry, this is going to be an awkward angle, so you guys will not see it as well. I have to kind of turn it this way and go carefully around the top of the band. Lay my brush bristles into the crevice. done. I don't talk a lot when I'm trying to do fine line work just because it's, if I chat too much I make mistakes. Little tiny spot there. Okay let me check the underside make sure I didn't miss something. I did not. And I'm trying to decide. I think what I'm going to do here is that's going to be twinkle as well, just because that would be kind of fun. And let me rinse my brush off. put at least two coats on just because it's kind of transparent. And let's see. Now I get these nutcrackers at Michael's. No fancy resource for them. You just can find them at Michael's. They're easy to find. I bought them. I order them online and go and pick them up so that I don't get tempted by a million other things in the store. I know you know what I mean. <laughs> it's 
all of us get caught into an art and craft supply store and yeah you can spend the whole day there all right so we're going to do the mittens on him red too now i did paint these white so my coverage is a little sheerer and i also think i've got some water in my brush But second coats are, that's what second coats are for. Second coats are not a big deal. So let's get, I'm sorry, it's a really awkward thing. This is tall, so getting it in position so that you guys can always see what I'm doing is really not an easy job. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit of water in my brush and then the fact that this is going over white it's just got a little bit of sheerness which is very common with red paints um, the fact that i went over bare wood before meant that there was nothing else for it to grab the paint to grab on and the coverage was phenomenal and actually i didn't prime the bottom of this glove with the red, uh, with any white <laughs> I forgot it was one of those skip spots and the paint grabbed perfectly there so it's just the fact that I'm going over a little bit of white paint it'll be fine all right now I have to decide what color to go with the jaw part the back jaw part and I can't decide if I want to go with gold or if I want to really, really jump the boat and go in with blue. So while I'm thinking about that, and of course, if you have any opinions, I'd love to hear them. Hey, Joyce, nice to see you here. So if you have any opinions on whether this should be red, blue, gold, twinkle, give me, give me your color choices. Um, right now I'm leaning towards blue just because it would be another color option on here. And the bottom of this, I am going to paint gold. So let's get in here with the gold, get that done. I know these, these are such hard decisions. They're so much fun. And I always save the faces for last, um, for a very simple reason. I want to be completely finished and relaxed and not thinking about what I have to do next when I get into painting a face. For me, that is the best way to go. Now, I know that's not how other people do things, and that's fine. Um, just for me, it's what works best. So I save the faces for last. Let's get this gold. I love this royal gold. It's so rich looking. And as you can see, the coverage with it is just gorgeous. Again, we're using our Roberson's liquid metals. This is royal gold. And I really like the punch of it against the um, white. Because the white, even with the snowflake or Elsa foil over it, is so white that it needs just a little a little zhuzh of rich gold. Okay, let's get the back here. And this paint just applies so smoothly and covers so nice and tight. And it's designed to go on a myriad of surfaces. So as you can see, we're putting it on wood, 
we're putting it on pre-painted surfaces, it can go on plaster, it can go on all kinds of stuff. So there we've got, so far, here is our nutcracker. Turn them this way. So again, oops, I missed a spot down here. See, this is why you turn things. You've got to check all those spots that you think you've got covered and you might have missed. Anybody got any thoughts on the color of, hey, Rebecca, nice to see you here. Any thoughts on the color for the arm? I am still leaning towards blue. Let's see, we're thinking, I'm thinking our metallic dark blue would be really, really nice on that. And since nobody's popped in with its suggestion, I'm going with my own idea. <laughs> Let me rinse out my brush again. And we're getting, I've used these a lot lately, so we're getting down to the bottom of a lot of jars of paint. I'm going to have to go and get some more. Look how beautiful that dark blue is. Oh. So out of sheer curiosity the other day, I started doing a little research on nutcrackers. And the legend has it that they were originally created for a very wealthy man who wanted a very decorative way of cracking nuts and that the first ones were actually shaped like a small squat man um, and a screw came down through his head and crushed the nut between his teeth. Now there the lever here is supposed to actually be what helps crush nuts but most nutcrackers now are decorative and they are absolutely not designed to be used for crushing nuts. You'll break them before you'd ever crush a nut with them. So I'm going to come in here. I'm sorry for this odd angle. Um, let me see if I can turn it on its side without doing any bad things to it. Okay. I'm going to paint this carefully. And I'm going to leave it out to dry so that it does not get wedged in with paint. Careful strokes here. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so loving this stuff. Okay, now let's get the other side here. And I do still have the underside to get, but first I'm going to get these sides. And if I can comfortably get at the underside, I'll do some on there. But I guarantee you that the underside is probably going to need another coat because it's awkward to paint the bottom of something. Let's see. And I don't want to make a mess. Because again, these are these are gifts, so. And since I know the kids don't watch me on my lives, shame on them. They won't know what the nutcrackers are that they're getting this year. There are two things that they absolutely are so funny about getting. I would have thought by now they'd be kind of outgrown on some things. Nope, they need me to make Springerly, which is a German Christmas cookie. And they need me to get send them a nutcracker. It's not Christmas if I don't do those two things. And they make sure to tell me that it's not Christmas unless I do that. Okay, so I am going to let that dry for now. I really can't do much more on it. And 
bring back my little guy here. And while the legs are drying with the foil adhesive to do our next layer, and it is definitely not ready yet, we'll work on some of this other design part. So I think what I'm going to do is start up here in the crown. Now, nut, these, these nutcrackers traditionally have a lot of gold on them, around the bands, on the epaulets. Um, and I just simply don't remember what color the dome is. So I'm going to pick a color because I can. So we're going to work with some classic gold with him. And since we've been working with greens, we're going to put lighter green up here in the hat. Now, it's going to be, is that light green when I want? Bright green. I think we're going to go with the light green. Again, I got to give it a little stir because it's been sitting a while. I don't use a lot of green. I am for some reason, I'm much more of a blue person. I don't know why. You know, that's one of those things. Everybody's got their color choices for things. Let's get in here and let's start painting this dome green. Oh, this is so pretty on here. And this is the dome of the, the crown. And it's funny, with all the nutcrackers, the headgear is often very different from nutcracker to nutcracker. Some of them are crowned like a prince like this. Some of them are um, more of a soldier's cap, fighting cap. You never know what you're going to find. Some of them are tall and tufted and, you know, fabric-y and fuzzy. You just... There's always all these different interpretations, which is what I love. It makes them so interesting as a collection. Okay, let's come in here. And the nice thing is with this, because these sit back or sit forward on supports, the foil is not, the foil adhesive is not touching anything and it's not spoiling. So I don't have to worry about ruining the set of my foil adhesive as I do this. Let's see if anybody's got any questions. Hey, Patricia and Eric, thank you for coming in today. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you don't understand something I'm saying, it's probably because I'm saying it in a way that doesn't make any sense, which happens as I paint. Uh, I can get distracted enough that my mind goes in other places and it makes it hard for somebody to keep track of what I'm talking about. I keep using going back to the same brush today because it seems to be the one that works the best. I didn't want him tipped over. Get some of the water out of my brush. Okay, we're gonna go with some classic gold on the crown, and then we'll probably do the band again in green. Keeping with our green and red Christmas theme. And really, I'm just going to keep painting here with you and building on this um, until 
the legs are dry enough for me to show you how we release the baby's breath foil on here because that's going to look really kind of cool. Are you all getting ready for Thanksgiving? Are you planning big meals or is it just a couple people? I think this year ours is going to be very small. Um, probably just my husband, my son, and me keeping it mellow. We've done some really big Thanksgivings in the past. Um, but that was when I was running a painting business and not a studio as well. And with this running the studio I don't have quite the same amount of time to go and do the crazy table settings and stuff that I used to do we used to have like when we were living in a part an apartment we we'd have 14 or 15 for a sit down Thanksgiving dinner and it was fun and it was chaotic and it was beautiful I don't have unfortunately the wherewithal to do that and keep the business going because at that point I could take a couple days off from my paint work and spend it doing the house and the flowers and everything else but nope not with this studio and I don't mind because quite frankly it's fewer dishes to do I miss, you know, and I think for a lot of people, you know, all the COVID stuff changed the way we do holidays. So we just have started scaling back on things. But if you guys have any fun plans for Thanksgiving, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. done here and then I'm going to get the little knob on the top and then we have the epaulettes and stuff to do okay and here's the knob on the top going Okay, so his crown looks really nice like this. I'm, I'm very pleased. But we're, now we're going to go into the shoulders. We're going to do the epaulettes. And I may take this very fine line around the epaulette here and do that in green as well to kind of keep consistent with the crown. As a matter of fact, the word is I will, not I may. Since I've got the gold up, we're going to do the gold first. Oops. And then again, we'll do gold over the cuffs. Now again, since I'm putting this over something else, I'll probably have to, I, probably is not the word, I will have to do a second coat. I can see that now as I do it, that it's going to definitely need a second coat just won't it won't cover a hundred percent over dark glossy red and that's fine at least I know that I knew that going in okay let's get this shoulder check my adhesive yeah we're about ready as it suddenly got warm in here and I have a dehumidifier running to help speed the drying of certain things so we should be able to re release the foil pretty quickly. Let's come up under here
and as I've said in the past, remember to rotate things. Now we've also got a waistband and we have the arm for the nutcracker. Um, I think I'm going to do the arm in the green, the waistband in the gold. That's, that's my plan for now. Sounds like a reasonable plan to me. So let's do the waistband. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the shoes. The shoes may be shiny steel gray um, liquid metal, but I'm not going to touch the feet on here until I have released my foil because I don't want to get wet paint all over it. I don't want to make a mess of things. And this is one of those things that if you're not paying attention, you put foil adhesive and wet paint and all that stuff together, you can make a heck of a mess. getting a little bit on the elbow on this guy's elbow and that's not my goal fortunately it'll slide right off because it's still very fresh okay let me check this oops hand slipped and I got paint where I didn't want it. Hey, I'm not kidding. You gotta be careful. Alright, so I'm gonna stand him up for a second just so I can see some of the spots that I can't see with it angled down. And then I think we should be ready to foil the legs. So you can see these take some time and take some work. The snowman is actually faster because we don't have these fancy legs to work around and that sort of thing. But each one has a lot of charm and I'm really happy to be working with them. Okay, so this is our, no, that's not. I thought it was one thing, it's not what I thought it was. This is our baby's breath foil. Okay, again, this is another one that the top and the bottom look exactly the same. So I need to be careful how I set it down. I'm going to put it sticky side down or glue side to the glue down so that I can figure out which way it needs to go on the body. Let's hope I kept this right. Okay, let's get this on here. Because if I did it wrong, it's going to be messy. <laughs> now I got it the right side down. Now I just got to get it all where it belongs. Now this one releases much easier in my opinion than the uh, Elsa snowflake one. That doesn't mean you shouldn't use the Elsa, it just means be prepared to work it a little more. All right. That's... Oh, that's cool. Let's see if I missed it. Nope, I didn't miss a little bit right there. for spots that I didn't hit 
if it doesn't feel sticky, that means I got it with the foil. If it feels sticky, it means that I gapped something. That is cool. As you can see, it's a very scattered random pattern. That is not missed there. It's not sticky. That's just how the pattern works. So you're going to get kind of an uneven thing because that's how baby's breath is. It kind of goes in sprays. Get up here at the top of the leg. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's get the other one. And we'll flip it over and make sure I get the back. Okay. released great too so I think I just have a little bit in between of the leg here now let's see if I can remember which side it was let's hope I'm right because I put that down without paying attention if it doesn't release anything I'll know I got it on the wrong side let's try it this side because nothing came off The, this is the one thing with this foil is it's a little tricky just finding the right side if you put the piece down wrong. I cannot figure this out for my life today. I will in a second though. Yeah, there we go. That's the correct side. Inner, the inner leg inside of the calf. There we go. There we go. And look how cool these look. I mean, that is just super sparkly. Baby's breath patchy. It almost looks like snow on there, which is sort of what I was going for. All right, everybody, I think we are done for today. Um, I don't know if we're going to work on, this, on these again tomorrow on a live, but I'm definitely going to be finishing them up tomorrow. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of the products or any of the colors that you've seen me use today, and I appreciate it. So let me flip up. Say goodbye to everybody. Again, thank you for giving me some of your time today. I'm loving how our nutcrackers are coming out. I'm trying to grab places with no wet paint. So thank you for giving me some time today. Have a wonderful afternoon, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.